of people today now they want to know more about making moonshine and we're going to touch base on, on how to make a uh, genuine mash for distilling. However, we're going to take a slight twist on it. People think that they need to make corn into whiskey to have genuine moonshine. This is not the case. Uh, if a moonshiner could, he would in get better ingredients and make a better product. He uses corn primarily because of price. Corn is generally the cheapest and therefore it's going to give him the highest profits. However, corn is not a necessity. Anything that you can ferment, you can make moonshine out of. Now, I uh, played around with uh, a little stovetop still about 20 years ago and uh, I didn't know the recipe for corn mash so I didn't try it. And that's a good thing too because I might have made poison and killed somebody. So instead what I did was I made apple brandy. And it's easy to do. I, if you can afford it, go ahead and get you the uh, freshly squeezed apple cider. And you really don't have to do anything to it. You just can let it set, leave the cap a little loose, and uh, you can distill it when it's done. Uh, however, if you want to save some time and some money on that, you have a quicker solution. And that is apple juice. Primarily apple juice concentrate, uh, which is very cheap. I picked this up for about a dollar a can. So um, to make a good apple wash, all you got to do is take, uh, say, like a couple cans of apple juice here. You don't even need that. You can have one can of apple juice and make it just like the directions say. And then if you have some room left in here, you can top it with a little sugar water. All right, make sure you add some yeast to it as there's probably hardly any yeast left in this apple juice. It probably is some left, but it would take weeks and weeks to get it all fermented. So make sure to add a little extra yeast to your mix and uh, let it set for a week. There's no special recipe. You just take some apple juice, a container, some water, some sugar, add some activated yeast to it, and give your cap a little breather and uh, you don't need an airlock just let the cap breathe alright just let the cap breathe and uh, otherwise eventually they'll blow, they'll they'll get enough pressure and uh, your containment jar will explode now when I make wine however I go for bigger quantities. Here we have a five gallon water jug. This is what I use for making wine. And uh, again, uh, if we have a little cap on there just to keep the dust and bugs out while well, I'm uh, not using it. I do, have one, I do have one that is full of wine that is working right now. We have that right here. We have some great wine working. And uh, if you wanted to, you could distill this because many brandies are made from grapes. And so is cognac. Cognac is made from grapes. And uh, the only difference is that everything is aged in barrels. Now you notice I have a garbage bag on top of this. This is my airlock. When I make a batch of wine, I uh, take a clean garbage bag, I put it over the top, and it's just secured with a couple of hair bands. If your yeast is active and your uh, wine starts working, then the, it will blow up the garbage bag. So now uh, that's how you know you have a good working uh, batch of wine or mash and you don't need to go out and buy an airlock. This works just fine. I've made wine like this a couple times. It works just fine.